What is going on, collectives? It's your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading. If no one told you guys, I love you today, and all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. All right, so let's tap in. I gave you guys a little bit of time because I knew some of you guys celebrated um, the 4th of July, so I didn't come on with terror after dark, but baby, I'm here. Okay, I am here. I am here to deliver. I feel like this message is going to be enlightened. So if you was guided to tap on this video, there's definitely a message, all right, about a happy ending <laughs> um, here for you. So let's get right into it. Welcome to Terra After Dark, all right? It's going to be always at the same time every wee hours of the night, which is at 12, 12 a.m. It's going to be with the same um, thumbnail so that way you won't be confused. And it's always going to say Terra After Dark, all right? I wanted to, I wanted to do this... Um, this series so that way everybody could tap in to the things that they really want to learn and what's going to come out and the challenges and really want to you know we don't know what's going to come out at terror after dark but i know that it's a different energy because everybody that's watching it is settled in a house you know, everybody that's watching it is comfortable where they at, or they should be at 12, 12 a.m., okay? All right, so let's tap in. Archangel Michael and Allegra, I ask that you come into Terra After Dark with Janiqua A, all right? And let's do what we do. I ask for protection and guidance and clarity throughout my messages. Thank you, Spirit, and protect me as I channel for the collective. Come on. Let's see what's in your energy collective for Terra After Dark. What do your spirit guys want you to know for Terra After Dark with Janiqua A? Okay. Ooh, an offer. There's a new opportunity. You're learning something new. The pages are basically at the beginning stages of whatever it is that you are doing in your life. Um... The pentacles is everything you materializing on earth. So that means love. That means money. That means career. Everything here in the earthly realm, this is what that's pertaining to. And you're at the beginning stages. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what you're learning. Let's see what this author is. Wow. It's an offer that you need as a resource to move away. Wow. It is the it is the resource. It is the financial resource. It's the relationship. It's the people. It is the career that you need to move away from an old situation. So if you I told you guys, terror after dark, don't be playing with you guys. You guys been thinking about how the fuck you want to get away from a certain situation. You guys have been trying to come up with a, a, a strategic plan to remove or get up out of a situation that was causing you not to have peace. This the swords is about communication, is about peace. So no more need to worry. All right, y'all can sleep good. Okay. Before this week is over, before Monday, y'all going to have some type of news coming in. There's going to be some type of news. There's going to be a resource, a physical. The pages like are physical. This is going to be a physical resource that you was looking for to be the solution to you getting away from whatever situation you want to get away from. Damn. And you moving straight into love, baby. You was you you thinking about love, you thinking about family, you this is a commitment you making like this is your person. The lover's call is soulmate energy. Yo, I'm proud of y'all too because a lot of people were so scared of this Venus and retrograde energy. And what I see is or you know, if you guys go and look at the terror after dark or just any of my other readings, you guys really doing it with your person. Like y'all not letting nothing interfere Like what y'all thought this retrograde Was going to be is the complete opposite Because Venus in retrograde is allowing y'all To revisit And come up with a new plan Page of, page of pinnacles Alright so y'all moving away With your person Y'all being guided towards y'all person And this is that physical news Resource help That's going to be that, that, that solution all right, y'all been working on this for a fucking while. You hear me? A while. Damn. But see, your hard work didn't pay you off. A lot of people would stop at like the Eight of Pentacles because they like, damn, is it going to work? Is it going to work? But with this Page of Pentacles to this Eight, that's the Nine of Pentacles. That's something that's growing. 
Y'all been working at this for seven months, seven weeks, seven years. I mean, eight, eight weeks, eight. This could be a whole year. But y'all sacrifices. The things that y'all did separately to come together, that shit paid off. Everything that you've sacrificed, everything that you learned, everything that you went through, ups and downs, baby, you learned how to keep going. That's what you needed to learn. It wasn't because you needed to be in certain situations. Y'all needed to learn a karmic lesson of not being held back from each other. When you see the chariot card out here, and let me tell y'all, the two major arcana cards out here is the lover's card and the chariot. So this is already a love's reading for this terror after dark. And this shit coming through. Like y'all been working on that shit. Y'all been y'all been sacrificing. Y'all been saving. Y'all been meeting each other. Y'all been doing the things. And look, who in the motherfucking boat found the solution. Because of this page of pentacles. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. All right, the chariot is a short progress in whatever it is that you are pursuing moving forward. It also signifies you being divinely um, escorted. All right, but most importantly, the chariot is your strength. It is the complete balance and the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy and the the um, co-creation of the divine feminine energy and the emperor, like the emperor and the empress is the chariot. So this could be a new beginning. This could be a new child. This could be a new business. This could be something that y'all co-created because y'all didn't stop. All right. This is definitely a past life love. All right. This definitely could signify children. Um, but this is past life. The six of cups is like you, you reflecting, you remember you're in a state of nostalgia. Like, wait, this is my person. I love this person. I'm reflecting like I remember. Oh shit, the two of cups. Several after dark is not playing with y'all. This shit love. All right? This shit love. This is past life love. It was fuck around y'all past life, right? Spirit was like, all right, we gonna do this shit here on earth. Y'all gotta complete something. Y'all gotta co-create. So y'all met each other on a walkthrough. The two of cups is a choice. Y'all was like, oh no, y'all instantly fuck around. Remember, this is like love at first sight energy. All right, you instantly remember. You was like, all right. We got to make a choice. Do we really want to do this? Y'all made a choice to put effort, time, whatever y'all was even doing separately to come up, to build to the page of pentacles, to one. All right. And that one became that one solution to y'all problem to move away. And y'all being divinely guided, y'all being pushed forward. Everything that y'all doing as a couple, two of cups, lovers call it. All right. And you got six, six. You got six, six, six again. The six of swords, the lovers card is the number six and the six of cups. Y'all been seeing six, 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 but six, six, six is the mark of the beast is is life. So this could be y'all co-creating life, whether it's y'all lives together or new life, because y'all again, balance in y'all masculine and feminine in energy, meaning in this relationship. You know what you're going to do as the divine feminine and this person knows what they're going to do as the divine masculine. There's no, there's no need to, um, fight, argue. That's like, I'm getting bees. Like y'all all know y'all position. The main goal is to do whatever that y'all need to do to get to the next level. So everybody know what they got to do. Nobody is bickering. Everybody living in peace right now. That's why y'all moving away. Six of swords. Six of swords is peace. It's restoration. Is you, is you recycling your mind? Okay, to be at peace with the decisions that you made, to get away from something that was you felt defeated in. All right, but this is love. If you wanted to know if this is love and y'all ever was going to get to a place of happiness, yes, baby. And this might not be for everybody because everybody is not at this level. Remember, the major iconic cause is of the significant cycles and lessons out of the tarot deck out of your life where you're learning how to really live a balanced life creating heaven on earth by all the karmic lessons right you're learning so you got the chariot and again the lovers that's this is like love moving forward this is like what you needed to know in this lifetime what you needed to learn in this lifetime regarding love everything that y'all did individually in your career it was for this moment to have this union this past life, Six of Cups union, lovers cause so many energy move forward in this lifetime. Two of Cups, chariot to the Six of Swords. All right, damn, look. And this shit causing a towel moment. 
All right, this shit is a major revelation because what was once just a plan to y'all, right? What's, what was once just a dream to y'all is now actually happening in the earthly realm. All right, you are receiving tons of angelic support right now. It's like do or die. Your angels is not playing with y'all. Y'all could have even been wanting to separate, or um, y'all felt better separating, but something was just saying, No, don't give up. Y'all didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Y'all was just being pulled towards each other. That is divine intervention. See, a lot of people don't understand the tower card. Sometimes the tower is a tragedy, but two souls are being ejected out of this tower so that way they won't be in the tower because the tower is come crumbling down. Y'all not supposed to be in there. So when you see the tower grace you're reading, it's because this is a major sudden, fast, sudden change of events. That guided y'all up out of this tower and pushed y'all forward in another direction while this shit unfold. Y'all wasn't supposed to be in here. All right. So this is a major revelation that God, all right, the angels said, y'all can't play no more. All these other lifetimes, y'all not getting it. Y'all with the wrong people. Y'all having children with the wrong people. Spirit said in this lifetime, that's not going to happen. There's something powerful about this relationship. If you was wondering... You know, because this is not a relationship where it's just toxic. This is, I see, I see happiness exceeding the, 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 the angry moments. Like this is the good times over the, the, it's, it was more good times than bad times. Thank you, spirit. It was something about this relationship where the divine was not playing with you. Look at your angels out here. You got the temperance and the lovers card, the chariot, archangel, Michael, the tower card saying this is happening. You got the lovers call. This is a relation. This is a love that is supposed to manifest. Y'all supposed to co-create. Y'all supposed to build. And I feel like it's supposed to carry out a lineage, a bloodline. And this lifetime, y'all learning. This lifetime, the angels is like, no, I'm not playing with y'all. All right. So you have temperance energy. This is, and then a lot of you guys, y'all know how to balance out a chaotic moment. This is the gift between your, you guys. Y'all chose to be together. So it's like y'all made a choice. Like it's a different kind of bond between you guys. Like when y'all make choices, when y'all tell each other y'all going to do something, y'all do it. So in, in the heat of the moment, y'all are able to still remain balanced because y'all still know that y'all got each other. And that is very powerful. Okay. That is very powerful. Oh my gosh, you could be a queen of pentacles, divine feminine. You are very stable with your life. You are also, I'm hearing an earth angel with this Capricorn. Oh shit, Capricorn full moon. Something is happening. Something is happening. Before before next week, or be, within, within the next week, you're going to find out something that went through. All right, this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a blessing from God here in the material world. So this can manifest in a new home, a new job, a new a career, a new business, a new child, a new car, a new relocation. But it's the financial. It's the physical. And if it's not financial, again, it's the material need that you, you need. All right, see? It's because you're balanced in your Queen of Cups energy. It's like earth angel, spiritual, you know what, you got your feelings, you know, first of all, the queen of cups is an energy that is very, very loving. Aside from, you know, like the empress, you know what I'm saying? Like the queen of cups is like that, that person like to go to. This is somebody that you will want to talk to the all your problems. Like they give you wise counsel, like they come straight from the heart chakra. This is somebody that is reliable with secrets and your feelings. They, they, they know how to control their feelings. And with the Queen of Pentacles, that means that you balance in your heart chakra, meaning that in the material world, you make shit happen. It's no longer just a dream for you guys. You, 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 you know how to take that dream, Queen of Cups, and make it physical, Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting magic, so you know how to do magic. I'm getting black girl magic. All right, so there's something that connects you to the earthly realm, the earth. Like, you don't need... You don't need nothing outside of what is given to you by the earth already. Like what is naturally being given to you as your resources. You know how to make that shit happen. All right. This is complete balance. Wow. 
Um, let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles for um this is gonna be a game changer, a life changing experience for you guys this week. All right, so Tarot After Dark really enlightened some shit about a soulmate union pushing forward no matter what the fuck y'all talking about. Because there's a bigger thing at work here. There's something that y'all supposed to co-create that spirit saying that's why all these angels is out here. So give me more on this Queen of Pentacles. Matter of fact, spirit is telling me, thank you spirit, is clarify them together because this is one. Spirit, um, clarify the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, please. Look, it's a complete balance. This Six of Pentacles is literally the balance of the equal give and take in the universe. So this is the time in your life where Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, you know that you got to be reliable. You got to show up with the same emotional support that you want people to show up to you as when it comes to making something manifest, Queen of Pentacles, all right? You are completely balanced in some type of success, your stability, your career, all right? Your security in life. For some of you guys, you are in charge of um, leading or um, charity work or something like that, all right? Yeah, justice. You could be like, Involved in creating balance in the world or society. Maybe you are some type of spiritualist. Maybe you do that for money. Maybe you do that as a career to talk and speak life into people or speak, um, teach people about karma and dharma and shit like that. All right. But this is, this is your justice with the six of pentacles. That's complete balance, right? This means that you are receiving back the rewards after you did certain shit in a situation. You was very humble. All right. You gave back. You gave back to the world. So your justice is to receive this divine connection. All right. This kingdom spouse. Every resource that you need to live here on earth until your existence is over is completely done. All right. You are being paid for your existence right now. All right. And that is your justice for doing whatever it is that you do. Damn. Empress energy. This could be a child. Ace of Pentacles. All right, this definitely could be like you, you having your family, you having a man that loves you, a soulmate connection, you like not wanting for nothing. And the, the Empress is a co-creator, all right? The Empress, so I already see the Empress, right, is in her Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy. Remember, they all four queens, but with the Justice card out here, that's the Queen of Swords. She went, she surpassed the Queen of Swords. All right, as the empress, because she moved to the justice. So whatever she say goes because she has been trusted with doing things that require truth and change. All right. So that's the that's the queen of swords energy right here. She surpassed that. She went to the justice. Everything that come out this empress mouth is completely trustworthy and truthful. And that's why everything that she say it's heard in the spiritual realm. Okay, every prayer, bam, here you go. So that you got to remember the empress is completely stable in life. They are very prosperous. They are in a state of affluence, a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of wisdom. They are, they could be a working mother, but they could also do charity. All right. You could be pregnant again. Oh my gosh, the ten of pentacles, baby. You set for life. To the nine of pentacles, you set for life. You was doing something off on your own for a while. All right, but within that cycle that you was progressing into this fucking status of an empress, all right, you was building character, you was being taught and molded into living as an empress. That is a very high title. It requires a lot of growth, a lot of change, and a lot of truth and a lot of confidence. All right, it requires a lot of um, taking accountability. All right, and doing right even when you don't feel like it. All right, that's very challenging. You surpassed all of that. All right, and this is reaping your rewards, Divine Feminine. You have found your kingdom spouse. You are really living a dream. And damn, you know what I just heard? You are living a dream, right? But a lot of people live the dream because they want to stay asleep. Damn, it's called living a dream, right? Because it requires you to stay asleep from certain shit. You surpass that. Thank you, Spirit. And that's why the justice is coming out instead of the Queen of Swords because you you didn't stay asleep. You was like, I'm living a dream, so I got to be woke to live it, right? 
Talk to them, spirit. Spirit said, everybody want to live the dream. And be it kept asleep so it could just be a dream. And you said, well, if I got to live this dream, if I know this dream is my dream, I got to be woke to live it. And that woke energy requires change. It requires breaking free from old traditions and old cycles and old patterns. You said if I want a fucking husband, I'm going to have to be wifey material. I'm going to have to do what I need to do for the household. I'm going to need to speak life into my existence. That's what the fuck you did. Baby, there's nothing in the world that you would ever need moving forward in this lifetime regarding your family, regarding your work, regarding your success, regarding your stability, regarding your name. Your name has reached the higher ups your name has been has been spoken about and continuously is spoken of in the rooms of very important people in the spiritual realm and here on earth your existence is paying for itself your kids kids not gonna want nothing whatever you birth from right now is completely okay in this material world and that's because god has taught you to lead god has trusted you to lead as the empress this is a life-changing experience for you guys all right this is a life-changing experience in your family that you always wanted divine feminine the goal out of the terror deck, right, is to reach the fucking empress. That's why you go through the suits of the fucking deck. That's why you are four queens. All right? You have made it to the justice. This is your justice. Nobody could take your blessings. I mean, nobody could take this child. Nobody could take this career. Nobody could take that house. Nobody could take your soul. Nobody could take anything right now. You have made a name for yourself. All right? Spirit, tell me more. What's the closing out messages? Let's get some time frames. Let's get some answers. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm listening to Terror After Dark. If y'all claim this reading, like this um, like this video so it can start getting pushed to people, places, and things. I need to know where they are. Where they are in life. Y'all need to know. Y'all need readers to speak life into you guys because there's so much challenging things to prevent you to receive an injustice as an empress. A lot of people don't make it here. But let's talk about the people that do. And when I see that the people that do, that means it happens. So it's not impossible. This is like a dream life being lived because you didn't, you chose to not stay asleep in that dream. Spirit, give us some answers, please, and thank you. Meditation bring answers. You've been meditating, you've been sacrificing. You've completely released attachment to the outcome and understood that the divine and the universe had your back. All right. So you received. Yeah, the, you were. All right. So you was wondering if, if, if a situation would improve and through meditation and bring you the answers that you needed. And it said the situation will improve. And when you started to know that God was on your side, you started to move like a motherfucking empress. All right. If you wanted a motherfucking baby, you started to fucking move like you was motherfucking a divine feminine. Be a fertile with all your first. It starts with being fertile. It starts with opening up your womb, right? Not blocking it from anything, not blocking it from agony, not blocking it from self-doubt, not blocking it from fake friends, fake families, fake lovers, not having sex with people that don't have your best interest at heart. And that's not going to fill you with the motherfucking energy you need to keep your wound open. All right, spirits, tell us more. Welcome to Terra After Dark with Janiqua A. Every day at 1212, every night. 1212 a.m. Peaceful resolution. As the empress, you don't you find peace in every in every situation. There's a peaceful resolution in every situation because you're the empress. You know that if God is detaching you from something, it is to make room for something bigger, something greater. So you don't resist God. You just follow. You just sacrifice because your sacrifices you know is seen. And the bigger blessings are coming. So um, the meditation brung you answers that there's a peaceful resolution. All right. You ask your angel. 
you asked your angels. This is somebody, again, in that Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy that, that creates from nothing, that conjures from the dirt in the ground. You've asked your angels. Your angels are very powerful. Look at the light. It's your light. It's your light. It's your light. You ask the angels for something. And I told you, yeah, the chariot, the lover's car, all of this stuff. Yeah, whatever you ask for regarding your soul trap, your family, your connections, your relationships, your, your children, it has been granted. All right, look. It has been granted a big, happy, big, happy changes with an S, plural at the end. So this is not just one dream. Because you decided to, to be awake, right? Because you decided to reprogram and say, and for me to live this dream, I got to change. I got to be awake to live this. And awake is lifting the veil of illusions. There's big, happy changes that you are going to feel. You have completely created heaven on earth. All right, in your family, in your love life, okay. This is amazing. So that's what I have, you guys. Thank you for Terra After Dark with Janiqua A. I'll be back with another reading later.